Hey EcoFlow fans, in this video we're going to be disassembling EcoFlow Delta 2 and we're going to show you what's inside. Let's get started. Delta 2 is designed for efficient build. So to open it up, all we need is a little tool to open up the case and a little screwdriver. So let's get started with crack opening the case from above. Now apply a little bit of a little bit of power there it goes all right let's put it aside for now and here we can see one two three four five six screws now let's unscrew this six bad boys and Okay, perfect. Now it's done. Now it's time to open it up. All right. Wow. That's a real beauty right here. The engineering beauty of EcoFlow Delta 2 right in front of you. Plus, by the way, you see a little detail. So in order to assemble it correctly later on, this, this little arrow stands for front. So this thing goes up front. Now let's see what Delta 2 is made of. First, uh, there are quite a few fans, one, two, three fans to keep this product real cool when we're charging it on a fast charge or you know when it's outputting a lot of watts. Uh, plus we have a heat sinks here, we have radiators, we have inductance, we have uh, capacitors and many other things. Uh, one thing that you might notice is this toothpaste all over the place. It's actually not a toothpaste, it's a glue. So when Delta 2 is traveling to your home and goes through a lot of shake, everything stays very steadily in place. So when you receive it, it all works perfectly. Now moving on with our disassembly, let's pull out the front board connectors and take the front board right off. Okay, there we go. There he is. Kind of like a like an old school iPad or a mobile phone if you use such a big mobile phone. So there we have it. Moving on with a fence. Pull this off. Okay, fan is off. And we do the same with other two fans. So now we just pull it off to the front and there it comes. Next step would be disassembling the AC and DC ports from the back. So as you can see here, I have already disassembled a backboard uh, and you can see there's a ground cable. We have a DC uh, car charger cable here, cigarette 12 volt charger. We have a signal cable so all the buttons here can work and we have a neutral and positive cables for the inverter and as you can see here the screws that we're using for the boards all have double washer with the lock washer so no matter how once you screw it in it stays in place very very tight despite all the shakes that it might go through over the years it still be very tight with double lock washer and of course as a matter of safety our ground cable is connected to the chassis to the metal chassis of delta 2 and here we have our bms battery management system covered with what we call a insulation and protection film so this film is actually you're never going to think about it but in case uh, you're working on Delta 2 or it's being assembled in a factory or anything there's any work going on and one of the metal details falls on it it protects it protects the BMS from it so nothing can uh, short on the BMS so one of the sweet little features 
All right, and finally, once all the screws out of the way, it's an important moment in my life to take out the whole battery pack of Delta II. So we are looking at the LFP battery pack, one kilowatt of capacity, 3000 cycles that drive you down to 80% of the battery life, which is very impressive. You can use this battery pack for over 10 years and it's still gonna be fine and it's still gonna be serving you for a long term. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have disassembled EcoFlow Delta II and as you can see, it's a very sophisticated and smart product, but built in a very neat way. Now, if you're still not impressed, let's compare the differences, the internal differences between Delta II and Delta I. So here we can see two battery packs, Delta I battery pack and Delta II battery packs. What we can see right here with Delta I, it's made of a small batteries, a lot of small batteries, plus those batteries are NCM batteries, which means they're good for about 800 cycles down to 80% of lifetime. And Delta II is good for 3000 cycles, as I mentioned before, down to 80% of a battery life. What else we can see that the BMS here has a protection film. BMS here doesn't have a protection film, but it also has something to do with the placement of the BMS, which is uh, going sideways on a Delta I and going on top of the Delta II. Now let's take a look at the main boards of Delta I and Delta II. So you can see it a little bit better, I put this aside. So those are Delta I boards and inside the Delta they go one on top of another. And here we have MPPT and inverter board. So those are two separate things. We did a lot of integration work and put MPPT, which is solar module, and inverter on the same board, a lot more integrated. And you can even see by comparing the amount of cables that coming out of the boards. You see how many cables we have here and how many cables we used to have in a Delta One. And I definitely believe you can appreciate this difference. So we're integrating everything, we're making steps forward, we're reducing the weight and increasing the efficiency, all for our users. So that's all we have for today, guys. Now you know that nothing is different, except everything is different. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us a comment. Follow us on social media. Check out our official Facebook group, official EcoFlow Delta users group on Facebook, where 40,000 members talking about their deltas, their applications, and so on. And if you wanna know more differences between this product and that product, go ahead and check out this particular video to learn more. Thank you again and have a good one.